Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Trina Robinson went Christmas tree shopping with Curtis Ashford and Marshall Ashford, Robert Gossett, on Wednesday, December 6, resulting in her choosing a little tree that didn't require her to climb a ladder. Cotis was aware that he was the reason, therefore he insisted on a larger tree and recommended that someone else climb the ladder for him. Trina pretended as if the next tree was great after receiving a text and took off in a hurry. Jake Weber went Christmas tree shopping with Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, but he could sense she was upset about something. Liz updated Jake on Hamilton Finn's malpractice action and inquired about Charlotte Cassadine. Jake believed they were still dating, but he hadn't heard anything from Charlotte, and she was quiet even before the tragedy. It was difficult for Jake to understand what Charlotte was thinking, but Liz advised that Charlotte's emotional wounds would need time to heal. Essen Prince said she'd take a rideshare to her new apartment as she packed the last of her belongings and prepared to leave Laura Collins' residence with Ace Cassadine. Spencer Cassadine preferred to drive Esm and Ace, but Esm insisted that she needed to get used to doing things on her own. Spencer eventually relented and shared an emotional goodbye with Ace. Esm stood nearby and became emotional as well. After Esmond Ace had left, Trina arrived to console Spencer and tell them she was proud of him for doing what was best for Ace. Maxie Jones was preparing Sasha Gilmore and Cody Belve for a video call at Deception when Felicia Scorpio arrived with news about having to pick up a sick James West from school early. Maxie recognized she'd missed some calls, but Felicia insisted Liesel Obrecht check James out and determined he had the 24-hour illness. Although Maxie was eager to see James, she was concerned about leaving Sasha and Cody alone for such an important video chat. Felicia backed Cody and Sasha up since they were convinced they had it under control. Maxie gave in and made everything ready for the couple before fleeing. When Sasha and Cody started the video conference, everything looked to be going swimmingly. Martin Gray and Alexis Davis of The Invader assisted Finn in preparing for his deposition, which left him dissatisfied with all of their regulations. During their practice run, Finn became irritable, so Alexis and Martin had to emphasize the necessity of merely answering the question asked and navigating the minefield. Adam Wright was concerned about his makeup test results and pushed Joss to check for him in Jocelyn Jack's dorm room. Adam was relieved to find he had received a 97% and called his father to share the good news. As a result, Adam admitted that he had to take a makeup test, but he lied and claimed that he had to take Jocelyn to the emergency hospital. GH aficionados, of course, know it was the other way around. After Adam hung up, Jocelyn confronted him about the lie and expressed her displeasure. Jocelyn suggested Adam should start making his own decisions, but he replied that didn't work in his family. Adam had another test to study for, but before he went, he inquired about Jocelyn's grade. When Adam learned Jocelyn received a 90%, he expressed regret and expressed confidence that she will do better the next time. Jocelyn seemed worried about Adam as he walked away, and once Adam was back in his dorm room, he popped more tablets. Meanwhile, Dante Falconeri went to Laura Collins' office, where Jordan Ashford met with them to discuss the Austin Gatlin Holt case. Dante provided all of the information they had so far, but he pointed out that the Portuk PD was largely in charge. There were a few people of interest, notably Cyrus Renault, who appeared to have Austin and Mason Gatlin working for him the entire time he was in Pentonville. Laura replied that was a serious claim and asked for proof, so Dante suggested a confidential informant who had no reason to lie about it. However, Pentonville had no verification of Austin's visits, implying that the records had been wiped clean. Dante acknowledged that Cyrus had an alibi since he was mopping floors the night Austin was arrested. Jordan contended that Cyrus might have sent someone else to perform his dirty deed, but Dante countered that this would imply Cyrus still had connections willing to do so. Furthermore, 
It would imply that Dante knew Austin was going to abandon him, and Dante isn't persuaded that Cyrus did. Laura, on the other hand, wanted to know everything about the case from now on. Laura resolved that if Cyrus was the same cruel criminal he had always been, he would never see the light of day again. Violet Finn will be looking for a unique tree as she prepares for Christmas with Gregory Chase and Alexis Davis, according to General Hospital spoilers for Thursday, December 7. Unfortunately, Diane Miller's appearance will cause some embarrassment. Gregory is annoyed that Diane is representing the Muldoons because they are the ones behind Hamilton Finn's Michael Easton malpractice claim, but Diane may insist it's nothing personal. Scott Baldwin and Lucy Coe will then pause to reflect on the past. Lucy will remind out that sometimes you have to make sacrifices for those you care about, and Scott may agree after this walk down memory lane. Other GH teasers indicate that Portia Robinson will provide Curtis Ashford with updates on an experimental technique that could perhaps help him regain use of his legs. Curtis will be filled with mixed emotions as he asks Portia whether this is a real possibility for him. There are no certainties, especially when something is still in the experimental stages, but Portia will absolutely consider this treatment. Mr. Brennan will have a special delivery for Carly Spencer at Kelly. Mr. Brennan appears to be offering flowers and urging Carly to accept them with his apologies. Carly will be suspicious, and she may wonder what Mr. Brennan is apologizing for. Mr. Brennan may be concerned that he came across as overly intrusive during their prior interaction, or that he appeared a touch too unconcerned about the homeless. Regardless, Mr. Brennan's main motivation for moving will be to be closer to Sonny Corinthos' ex-wife, so he'll put in some effort on Thursday's episode. Dante Falconeri will inform Anna Devane about certain evidence, so he may finally tell her about the train locker key. Jameson Forsyth stole a report for which he was presumably eliminated, Therefore, Anna will be assured that there is someone else involved who may be brought to justice based on this incriminating evidence. According to General Hospital spoilers, Anna will be determined to find out more information, but Dante may warn her that she is in more danger than ever. According to General Hospital spoilers, many viewers have been grumbling about Laura Collins' actions on social media. Is Laura becoming too trusting of villains and their new and improved acts? Cyrus is furious. Renault's sob story seemed to touch Laura's heart in the December 5 program. Cyrus has obviously not changed his methods, but Laura has had times when she is willing to explore the chance that he has. There's also Esm Prince and all the compliments Laura lavishes on her on a daily basis. Esm appears to have true amnesia, but that doesn't mean she should be excused from all of her misdeeds. Many GH viewers are irritated that Ezen was never fully punished for her offences. The fact that Laura was so eager to forgive and forget hasn't helped to calm down the fan anger. We have to wonder if the program is putting Laura up for a dramatic fall now that she's become such a big Ezen champion. Ezen's memory must return sooner or later, so what if her dark side resurfaces? Of course, Ezen may remember everything and yet choose to take a better path. That, however, would be a pretty boring plot, not to mention a waste of Avery Paul's talents. This innocent acting Esm is tedious and adds little to the painting. Esm was created by the writers to be the daughter of Ryan Chamberlain and Heather Weber. Therefore, she must abandon the whiny mother stuff and return to her wild, manipulative beginnings. If Esm's memory returns and she reverts to her worst self, Laura could be in for a harsh awakening. Although Laura hopes Esm has changed her life for the better, this may just be a temporary solution. Do you want to see the old Esm return in full force? Will Laura come to regret her confidence in Esm if she manipulates her and produces further disasters? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.